Today we are learning how to cut roses with a very famous Japanese teacher of roses. And here he is. And he is <laughs> it's called Nelson or somebody. Anyhow, he's teaching us to uh, not keep the thin branches because they will lead to thin fl small flowers. So when you um, do the pruning, you need to leave on the large branches because they will give you big, big flowers. And have to eliminate the thinner ones because uh, of the size and quality of the flower. So, based on that theory, I'm going to eliminate this here and all these uh, smaller branches. So again, I'm choosing this one because the eye, the new, uh, the new growth is to the outside of the plant, and diagonal cut. And for example, if there are roses like this here that does not have many thick branches, then you should better leave on the thin branches because this one, see, it only has these two. So that's why they cut it and they let the thin branches, even if we can say that they're going to produce uh, small flowers. So you have to adjust the cutting to every rose um, character. <laughs> this one has many branches. So at first he is cutting the uh, branches that are in the center of the rows because they will be in the way and so the center of the rows should be cleaned at first you know anything that grows like this in the center ね、ね、伸びてきて、話少し何枚か開き始めたこと。朝食を始める。はい。うん、2週間いっぺんでいい。2週間いっぺんでいい。2週間に1回。4月のね、半ば頃からは始めに出てくるのがアブラムシとブ